welcome to the People's News, Stimulus Check, and Stimulus Package Update as of January 3rd, 2021. Well, today we find out that President Trump badgered and pleaded with Georgia Elections Chief to overturn Joe Biden's win in the state, in, in that state basically, suggesting that he is actually looking for 11,780 new votes for him even though the Georgia elections have already been certified. The ball drop in space looks different in the fact that they did it in zero gravity. I actually picture that for you guys as well. Um, Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi was narrowly reelected on Sunday as Speaker of the House yet again. And at noon today, the 117th Congress took control of the Congress basically, uh, because the old congressmen were there voted out, left at noon today, and the new ones took their places. Um, COVID 19, um, Texas reports a 12,319 new COVID patients in hospitals, ending a five consecutive days of a record breaking hospitalizations. Um, several far right groups said that they have that they will attend. The demonstrations in Washington, in Washington D.C. Um, for basically um, Joe Biden's inauguration and Trump's whining. I guess we call it that way. A federal appeals court on Saturday dismissed a lawsuit by Representative Louis. I can't say his name. He's a, he's a Texas represent, uh, Republican from Texas, and other Republicans that sought to expand Vice Pre President's. President Pence's legal authority to effectively overturn President elect Joe Biden's electoral win. And as we've noticed, President, uh, Vice President Pence actually is not wanting to take part of that because he thinks it's a joke. And a bipartisan group of senators issued a statement calling for Congress to certify President elect Joe Biden, Joe Biden's win, and said it's time to move forward. So that's good. So you got Republicans and Democrats saying it's time to move forward. We can't keep going backwards because we're hurting America by going backwards. And they're actually true about that. Hospitals in, hospitals in the United States are at high alert for a new, more contagious COVID-19 strain that first surfaced in the United Kingdom and is now shown up in Colorado, California, and Florida. So basically, we have a new COVID-19 strain that is hitting three parts of the United States so far. Hopefully, it will, hope, uh, I doubt it's going to go away, but we can just hope it does. And members of the far-right uh, group, the Proud Boys, will attend rallies for President Trump's inauguration with leader of the group says that they will basically be in D.C. on January 6th. And then we also got Texas Senator Ted Cruz is leading, leading a uh, coalition of Republican senators to challenge and out, the outcome of the presidential elections by voting to reject electors in key states that confirmed President Joe Biden's win. Ted Cruz is just a whiny little baby. Fewer homes in Southern California say they have, they're actually basically hitting a lot of space because they're running out of they're actually running out of space because of all the fatalities from COVID-19 and as far as our uh, COVID-19 our, our stimulus check goes as we all know the um, 117th Congress has taken session they did the swearing in today usually they elect to do the swearing in on a Monday if the, if the swearing in day falls on a Sunday but I guess today they did that because they wanted to get a head start on what's coming. And that is confirming President-elect Joe Biden's win on January 6th, which is Wednesday. Today is the first day of the uh, 117th Congress, as, and it starts with the uh, state of the Constitution, where it says on January 3rd at noon, the new Congress starts on the 6th. Well, that's when the new Congress starts. On January 6th, the Congress will ratify the President of the United States, President-elect Joe Biden, but there are Democrats that want to, sorry, not Democrats, there are Republicans that want to challenge the electoral, result, electoral college results. 
These Republicans are, like I said, Senator Tan Cruz and his other cronies. Um, in the House of Representatives, the Democrats have a 222 to 211 majority lead. Nancy Pelosi was reelected, as I said, back as a Speaker of the House. She will be 81 in two months. Can you believe that? 81. Man, she has to have a lot of hair, to, a lot of dyed her hair to not look at the age. But the funny thing is, if Republicans even win one seat in the in the Georgia runoffs in the, the Senate, we're going to be looking at a lot more gridlock as far as getting stimulus out and stimulus checks out to people. Because as we know, that will give Mitch McConnell back back the lead of the Senate, and he likes to give gridlock and heartache to the people. As if you, as you have noticed, he likes to try to pass five hundred billion dollar bills. And Republicans don't like to be borrowing more money from the Federal Reserve, even though the Federal Reserve actually has said that they will not be raising any interest rates for at least three years. But if the Democrats win both the seats in the Senate, I expect to see more stimulus checks going out to the people. Because if you remember what Joe Biden said when this $900 billion uh, stimulus proposal was signed into law by President Trump in December, that this is only a down payment for what's to come. So basically, if the Democrats win the Senate, I expect to see another standalone bill for $2,000 uh, stimulus checks to uh, basically come up for the people and hopefully with a Democrat-run Senate, House, and Presidency, well, won't be Democrat-run Presidency until after President Trump gets booted out and President-elect Joe Biden gets put into place. But basically, I do expect to see more two thousand dollars stimulus checks uh, proposals going onto the floor if the Democrats win the Senate. So I'm hoping that the Democrats actually get control of both the House and the Senate, so Mitch McConnell will have no voice. This thing he's been doing to Char Chuck Schumer this whole time. So let's pray for good news, and hopefully it'll come our way. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Remember, stay safe out there. Wear your masks. I do. Every time I leave, I wear a mask. Be on the safe side. And they said, be safe. Wear your masks. Try to at least keep sheltered so you don't freeze because the weather is dropping really rapidly, especially where I'm at. And until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Bye. <laughs>